Hello and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. Welcome everybody. I'm glad y'all get a chance to visit with me this Friday morning. I am so glad that today is Friday. I tell you, even though I have one day off through the week, I'm still glad it's Friday, okay? It's my two days off, okay? So I hope all is well with each and every one this morning. And welcome to my YouTube family. I mean, welcome my YouTube family to join this kitchen. To the recent subscribers, I'm talking to you. Welcome. I appreciate you for taking the time to subscribe. And I ask that you be sure when you subscribe to my channel, be sure to hit that notification bell. So every time I upload a recipe, you will want to be notified, okay? Because I'll be I making some good recipes, okay? So today, speaking of recipes, I got another good one for you. But before we get into that, if you're watching this channel for the very first time, or you just strolling through YouTube, go ahead and take the time to subscribe to my channel. Just join this kitchen, and I'll appreciate it. And be sure to hit that notification bell, because so, you don't want to miss any of these recipes I be uploading, okay? You don't want to um, miss these videos. So, with that in mind, today's recipe is going to be something quick. I was going to really do a dinner before I go to work. But sometimes my kids, they get tired of dinner. So they was like, Mom, just do something quick. I was going to make a whole dinner, y'all. And I was going to present it to y'all. But my kids had another agenda for today. So they wanted me to make something quick. Tell them, Mom, you ain't made grilled cheese in a long time. I say, no, we haven't had any in, in, in a while. So today's recipe is going to be grilled cheese. And I was looking through my refrigerator to see what else I can cook besides the grilled cheese. I found a bag of chicken wings. 10 bag, I mean one bag with 10 wings. So what I'm gonna do with those wings, I'm just gonna take them and cut them and make little sections out of them. And we're gonna bake those as well because I'm doing this grilled cheese. I'm not gonna stand up here and flip the grilled cheese continuously. You know what I mean? And I have uh, quite a few to flip. So I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make grilled cheese in the oven. Yes, oven grilled cheese. And I'm gonna have some with just grilled cheese because my husband don't do too much pork. So I'm gonna have some with just grilled cheese. I'm gonna have some with ham and grilled cheese. And I'm gonna have some with grilled cheese and tomato. So I'm gonna have it three different ways. And I'm doing some wings, like I said. But these not just any old wings. No, these wings gonna be taco seasoned wings, okay? So y'all come with me. Oh, and besides that, the, ta uh, um, the taco seasoned wings and the grilled cheese, three different ways. We're going to be having, the bag says, crispy potato puffs, a.k.a. tater tots, okay? That's what we used to call them growing, coming up. But the bag said, crispy potato puffs, a.k.a. tater tots. So that's what we'll be having along with this meal today. So y'all sit back, watch this video, get your drink on, because it's Friday. But it's too early to start drinking now. It's morning time, so <laughs> I don't want to say that. But whatever you're drinking, your coffee, your orange juice, you're having breakfast right about now, sit back and relax and watch this video. I might inspire you to cook some grilled cheese and taco wings today for your dinner, okay? It's quick, it's easy, and it's going to be delicious. Who don't like a good grilled cheese? Me and my family do. I bet you do too. So sit back and watch this grilled cheese, okay? Watch this recipe. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to talk my camera because my stand broke. It's always something going on with my camera stuff. I just don't get it. Every time I turn around, something is happening. Okay, if y'all can see this bowl right here, chicken wings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bowl, these chicken wings, and I'm, as soon as I find my scissors, not what they're doing with scissors. I just had my scissors. Oh, here they go. So I'm going to take these, um chicken wings and I'm just gonna cut them right at the joint and I um, cut the tip off too you gotta make sure you have use some sharp scissors for this or um kitchen shears or a knife
So the tips, I'm just going to discard, okay? If it was winter time, y'all, and these tips that, you, that I, um, I'm cutting off, I just put those in a bag and save them. And do some, um, when I do a chicken soup, I put those tips right on in there. Okay, a few more pieces to go. I hate that my stand broke. I didn't even know it broke. The last time that I used it, I uploaded a maple um, chicken wing recipe, and it was fine. It wasn't broke because I used it when I did my maple chicken wing and, and bacon. Oh, shit. Let me wash that. Excuse me, y'all. When I did that recipe, it was fine. Then I go get it this morning so I could put the camera on the stand. And it was broke. So I wanted to one of my children remove it, took by the handle, and broke it and didn't say anything. Because they will do that. They'll break something and won't say nothing. Then when I find it, and it's broke or whatever it is, they done broke and I see it. Because I may not see it right then, but when I'm doing something in the house or cleaning up or something and I see it, who broke this? Nobody don't know. So I ain't helped on no video since I did that um maple um drumettes. So I hadn't used my stand. And when I used it, it was fine. Nah, I can't now. Nah, I gotta get me some glue so I can glue it back because I ain't going to buy no another stand. But I done glued this back so many times, so I might just have to get it one. So I'm going to go. I'm gonna get some glue tomorrow. Let it sit overnight. And hopefully by Sunday morning, Lord, spell life when I get ready to do a, um, a video. Because I'm doing. A, I'm bringing y'all a video Sunday morning. I'm going to do my dinner, and it's going to be... Um, I'm going to show y'all how to um, make dressing my way. So y'all can have... Some good old homemade dressing or um because I don't always do it homemade. I do do it homemade. Like one holiday I might do it homemade and the rest of the holidays it do it be from a bag, not the box. I don't like the back the box. The bag be like dry um cornbread um crumbs. It it's like that, and you add your own ingredients into it. Well, the box is too, but I like the bag better. And I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, so I got all these chicken pieces cut up here. I'm gonna discard my chicken wings. So you're gonna have wanna have your oven preheated. My oven is already preheated to 450 degrees because these grilled cheese is not going to take long. You want to do it on 450 for 25 minutes. Okay, so um, I'm gonna move the chicken right here. Okay, so I'm gonna get to the others later. I'm gonna um clean this off, and I'm gonna I'm gonna um do the chicken wings first and show y'all what that's gonna look like. Okay, so I have my pan here. Okay, I have my pan. We're gonna take some vegetable spray. Already have some. 
Okay, so you're going to need some vegetable cooking spray. And we're just going to spray our pan. Just like this. That's it for that. Okay. So let me drain this water off my chicken wings. I'm going to pat it dry. So I'm going to pat these chicken wings dry. And I'm going to take out my kosher salt and my black pepper. Okay, so I'm just going to put this oil Y'all, please excuse this video. I'm asking y'all in advance to excuse this video. I really want to do this video, but I have to hold it and then set it on something because my stand is broke until I get my stand fixed. And I'm going to get it fixed, and it'll be fixed by Sunday, so the next video will come to y'all right, okay? So I'm asking y'all just excuse me for this one today. Please, thank you. Okay, so just a little bit of olive oil in there. Doing the kosher salt. Black pepper. Can y'all see that? Okay, and then I'm just going to go in and massage it. I'm gonna pour some of this oil off, okay? All right, so let me do that. I have to put the camera back down, y'all. Okay, I'm going to open up my seasoning, my taco seasoning. I'm going to get ready and try to sit this on something where y'all can see. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm just pouring the taco seasoning. On the chicken. And this one might be enough. I think this one back this one gonna give me enough because I ain't got that many. Um, okay, see what it look, and this is this taco seasoning. Can you see that? Okay, that's what I just poured over the chicken. So I'm just mixing it together. And then we're gonna place it on some parchment paper. I'm gonna put it on this baking pan. And we're gonna let it bake until it's done. Okay, so let me wash my hands and get the parchment paper, y'all. I'm gonna find something to stick my camera up on so I don't have to, so y'all can see. I had no idea my camera, my stand was broke until I went to get it just now. To do to shoot this video. I'm like, well, when did this happen? I'm all ready to grow. I got my ingredients out and everything. 
and the Jersey stand broke. I tell you, it's something. Always something. Always something. Okay, I'm just going to do it on this limit of foil right here. I spray pan already. Yeah, I did that. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do it on this. I'm gonna worry about the um. Uh, okay, y'all. I'll get it together. Okay, so I'm just going to take my chicken here, put it face down. And that's the flat parts that I'm doing face down. Okay, so I'm just going to pour the remaining of this oil right on top of the, um, okay, so there we have our taco season wing, I mean, um, chicken wings, I'm sorry, so they're going to go in a 450 degree oven until they're done okay these are gonna go in there until they're done okay so let me put the camera back down and i'll be right back with y'all and let me find something high i can put this on so y'all can see what i'm doing The next item I have here is my tater tops. Crispy potato puffs. Crispy potato puffs, aka tater tops. And I'm just going to put these on this sheet of paper here. On this foil. And I'm just gonna spray them out all on the floor like that. They're going in the oven as well. with a little just a little olive oil because I like these with salt and pepper I 
I like these to be seasoned too. Say, who does that? I do. And I'm just rubbing everything together, making sure that everything is nice and coated and sticky. That's all I'm doing, y'all. Y'all know how I do it. Okay, so I'm putting these in a 450 degree oven for about 25 minutes until they're nice and golden and brown. Okay. So let me wash my hands and we're going to get to the grilled cheese. And I'm going to have to put this up some because I got to show y'all how this grilled cheese is going to be. Okay. So here's the ingredients that we're gonna need for the grilled cheese. We're gonna need some ham. Okay, I have tomatoes here. I have um, Kraft Singles American Cheese. We're gonna be using that. I have um, sliced Provolone cheese, we're going to use that. And I have sliced Kobe Jack cheese, we're going to be using that as well. And you're going to need you some bread. So let's get everything here. Okay, and you will be needing some mail. Okay. So I'm going to spray my pan just slightly. Okay? Just like that. Okay, so I have my bread. I'm going to put it face down. You know, I'm just layering it in here, okay? And you can use any old kind of bread that you want. I'm using um, Marita Old Fashioned Bread. I don't know if I can get it, okay. I'm trying to smash it in here, y'all.
I'm going to have to get another pan because I put a few more slices in the other pan. going to take our mayo and you see this so I'm going to try to be able to see just spread the mayo on the bread just like that And just like butter, you want to do it on both sides of the bread. All right. Okay. So on the first one, okay, so we're going to add in, let me open this up. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to put the camera back down, okay? rinse my tomato off because I'm going to add a tomato to this grilled cheese. So, I'm going to do the first grilled cheese. I'm going to start that off with meat. Okay, then I'm going to add in a slice of cheese, and I'm doing this Kraft single cheese. Okay, y'all, welcome. Um, I'm back. I'm through building my grilled cheeses. I had two pans. Well, this one right here has six in a minute, and the other one has two, so that'll be enough, and I'm going to cut them in half afterwards. So, um, this is what the grilled cheese look like. And be sure to, when you do this recipe, do not do it with butter. Do it with mayo. I'm telling you, mayo makes a difference. It's going to be much crunchier. It's going to be but that butter flavor light because, you know, mayo has oil in it. So, we don't, therefore, we don't need butter. And mayo is more creamier. So, we're going to do it with, the, um, do it with the, uh, the mayo. And I promise you, you'll like the difference. Okay, now I made grilled cheese with butter. And then when I started using mayo, I was like, mayo is better. So, try this recipe. You do the grilled cheese, do it with the mayo, just like how I'm doing it. And you won't go wrong. 
So I'll be back to show y'all what these look like. The taco wings are smelling good right about now. So when everything gets done, and remember a 450 degree oven for 25 minutes. So when everything is done, I'll come back and show y'all what these grilled cheese, taco wings, and potato puffs, aka tater tots, is going to look like plated up. See y'all then. Mozzarella, Kobe Jack, mozzarella. I'm going to put a bread on that. I know I didn't do it with, yes I did too. God darn it. I ain't mean to do it that side, this side. The mayonnaise got to be side up on both sides because that's the part that we want to get brown. Okay. So I have, okay, that's the second sandwich. Mozza mozzarella, I mean provolone, I'm sorry. Kobe Jack. And the last one is a crab. So I'm just doing between those three cheeses, okay? So I just want to show y'all, and then we're going to put this mayo side up, flip it over, and then put mayo on the top. So I done did three. So what I'm going to do is finish the rest of these and come back and show y'all what I have it all look like done, okay? And then we're going to put this in a 450 degree oven for 20 minutes. So I'm going to cut my camera off and finish the rest of these sandwiches, okay? Because it's kind of hard to hold a camera and make a sandwich too. But by Sunday, I will have this issue fixed. So y'all bear with me. I thank y'all. And I'll see y'all back in a few. Hello, y'all. Welcome back. Um, let's take a look here at our grilled cheese. You see how that look? So when you put, the trick is, when you put it in there now, you have to watch your grilled cheese. You can't go lay down and forget about it. You got to let, you got to watch it because it's not going to take long for it to get done. See, it looks like butter. See, look at that. Look at those edges right there. See how crispy that is? You see? And see, my name has oil in it. See, it looks like butter, but it was mayo that we put on there. Y'all see me put it on there. So, y'all do this recipe. Here go the other three right here. Look, nice and golden brown. Cheese came out a little bit, but it's okay. That was to be expected. So, I'm going to take this grilled cheese, and I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to try to keep y'all right there where I can cut it in half. Oh. Oh, this is the grilled cheese with the tomato. Okay, y'all. I got to put it down to put it on my plate, okay? Then I'll show y'all. Okay, here go. Um, I don't think I just want a grilled cheese without ham. I got a grilled cheese. 
I think I want one without meat on it. So here's my my grilled cheese with just all provolone, okay? Cheese. And let me tear this. Oh, I'm gonna try to see it. With just provolone cheese that I did. See? Provolone cheese, and this is the grilled cheese that I did. Oh, it's hot. I can't hold it, y'all. This is the grilled cheese that I did with just the tomato and the grilled cheese. And here's my um my um crispy puffs, aka my potato crispy puffs, aka tater tots. And here is my taco chicken wings. So if y'all like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. It, everything was easy to make. We put it all in the oven, and our dinner is done in less than an hour. So I thank you all. The chick, the um, the grilled cheese sandwiches only took 20 minutes, or 25 minutes, because we're gonna put it in the 450 degree oven for 25 minutes. Then our um, our tater tots didn't take long at all. Let me finish um putting them up, y'all. Let me put the camera down so I can add my fixings on. And then I'll be right back to show y'all how this is going. I'm sorry, y'all, that I got to do it like this today. But this is the way, this is the way I like my tater tots. Okay, let me, let me show you. I'm sorry, y'all. Please forgive me. Okay, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little hot sauce on here. That's how I like my tater tots. Covered in mustard and ketchup with hot sauce. My grilled cheese sandwich and my taco chicken wings. Like this recipe, like, share, and subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. Once again, I thank you all for watching. Here's the rest of the the um grilled cheese. I thank you all for watching. And until the next recipe, I'll see you guys later. Give me a thumbs up if you like this grilled cheese. If y'all um expect it to turn out a different with the mayo. If you never tried it with mayo, try it with the mayo. I'm sure this will be something on here. Uh, this will be different. And I'm telling you, you'll like it. Okay? So give me a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. Once again, I thank you all for watching this video. And I thank y'all for having patience with me with this video because I'm staying broke. So I'm having to hold my camera. So when I come to y'all with another recipe on Sunday, I have it fixed by then. So God bless. Until the next recipe, God, I'll see you guys later. Y'all have a blessed one. Oh, and have a do have a good weekend. Be safe.